congratulate uh, Texas State. Thought they played an outstanding ball game. They hit key shots when they had to. Uh, just congratulations, you know. Thought that uh, they played extremely well. And I wish him the best of luck. He's got Tavion Kinsey with him, guys. We'll open up now for questions. Luke. Uh, Coach, after, you know, just a few minutes after that one, how do you process that? You know, what's the message to the players in the locker room after, uh, after that? Well, the first message is the guy beside me. It gave me five great years. You know, I, it's a special time. Uh, through wins and losses, through good times and bad, the uh, caliber of person he is is the kind uh, you want to be around for five years. And uh, he certainly has had a remarkable career at Marshall and uh, in all statistical categories, but also in leadership and uh, uh, representing the school the way it should be and the leadership he showed at, in the, with a team, locker room, floor, community, campus you know he'll be missed much more maybe much more than his playing uh, is just the quality of a uh, person that you're around for five years <clears throat> back here keith coach man um they, they closed on a 15 to 4 run was it something they did or, or did you guys kind of uh, slow it down a little bit and then didn't get the shots you were looking for uh, yeah and now <laughs> I can tell you now, yes. Uh, during the game, no. I mean, they hit, uh, I think the one kid hit that uh, three that took it down. I think that was his only points, I think. They, they made tough shots. The little hero kid made a, a lob up over a seven-footer, hit the ceiling, went down, straight down. They hit another one. I mean, it comes down to that. you got to make shots. Uh, we didn't execute as well. Uh, had opportunities, but didn't execute as well. And, you know, we had an eight-point lead with about, what, four four minutes, maybe 15 seconds, and uh, didn't saw them away. You got to give them credit, and uh, we got we to gotta be better. I, I, I can't tell you, can we do anything, or is there something that we could have done a little different? Yeah, we make a couple shots, you know, didn't make them. So it is what it is. Go ahead, Luke. I know this one hurts, um, but, but when you look at the journey that this team has been on, the journey that you've been on with Marshall, how do you, um, you know, look back and see, you know, um, and put everything into words? Um, first and foremost, just blessed to be here, just to have this opportunity. Um, um, just blessed to be here, um, just to play in this game. Um, I thank Coach Dan from the start. He gave me a chance when nobody else did. Um, it was like yesterday, I remember um, going into his office, seeing all the NBA players on the wall, him telling me like, I'm not going to promise you nothing. You just got to come in here and work. I um, came in as a, as a freshman, had, a, had great leaders around me, um, had him who always believed in me when nobody else really did. Um, he always positively lifted me up. Um, he lifted everybody up. Um, Loving the depth for that, for this team. Um, you know, we built something at the beginning of the season and I think will last forever, you know, and um, we couldn't get it done tonight. Some of the shots didn't go our way, but, you know, hats off to Texas State. Um, they played two good games and then they played us um, and, and they played a well, uh, a well game. And, um, you know, sometimes the ball just doesn't roll your way. But as far as the brotherhood that I've, um, you know, made here with all the guys that's been on the teams and the past teams that I played on, um, I'm just, you know, blessed to say I got to play with a great group of guys on and off the court and be with a great group of guys on and off the court um, for the Marshall community. They've always backed me. Um, they backed everybody who's came through here. Um, they've always supported me. And um, I, I felt um, I, it's not how I really wanted to end my career. Um, kind of feels like at the end of every year, I just keep hitting this wall, you know. But um, one day I'm going to get over it. And um, I'm glad that I chose to come here. And it's been a hell of a ride. <sighs> All right. 
I don't know. You know, where that goes, do I think we can play in the tournament? Yes. Uh, I hope they put a lot of stuff on the regular season. You know, uh, one game doesn't make a team. And uh, I don't know where we are. Maybe the commissioner over there has got ends where he can uh, write a good resume and uh, pull strings and give us a chance. Uh, I think we'd be a good competitive team either – NCAA or NIT. Uh, the resume is pretty good. We beat uh, Toledo, who won the MAC. Uh, regular season, Moorhead won OVC. We beat them. Uh, I think Greensboro was up in their conference, and uh, we lost a little bit to them. But uh, and we had Duquesne beat. We beat some good teams, and we have a good resume. Twenty-four and seven is a good season, and so uh, it's a mid-major. It makes it more difficult because you are a mid-major, but there'll be a lot of teams in the NCAA that won't have that record. And uh, it is what it is. I got my fingers crossed. I hope he gets another chance. Got two of the best guards in the country, two of the highest uh, scoring guards in the country. It's a good resume to uh, draw some people. We, we bring people, as you see, in the stands. We put people in the stands. It's a good resume for uh, a tournament team. So, you know, we'll see. You know, I, I got, I'm hoping, but, you know, I've learned uh, things I can't control, you can't worry about. So, if it is, we'll be ready. If it isn't, uh, we'll be blessed for this season and uh, try to get better for next. Justin? Um, amazing school. Um, I would just, I would, I would recommend anybody to go to their school, schooling wise and basketball program, all sports programs. You know, um, I think we did a great job moving conferences this year. Um, I think we could, we show that we can compete anywhere. You know, we got a national uh, champion soccer team. Um, our, our, all of our programs are doing pretty well. Our football teams is, is, is beating big, um, big name schools and as far as the basketball team um it's one of the best programs in the world I, I i never regret the decision i made and obviously i came back five years so um i i'm pretty sure everybody always says you could have left you could have went here could have went there but why i owe my loyalty to marshall um i'm forever gonna bleed green and white and um i just like i said i would I, I'm, I'm glad I made the decision to come back each and every year. I never regretted not one decision that I made. Um, sitting next to this man, he's he's taught me a lot about the game of basketball. Um, I felt like he's watched me grow up, you know, coming in as a freshman. And now that I'm, I'll be 23 in seven days, eight, I mean, six days. So, you know, it's it's been a long ride. And um, I think I'm thankful for everything Marshall showed me. Um, I'm thankful for everything Marshall's done for me, all the doors that they've opened for me, and um, everything that I've learned being on campus. Like I said, I would recommend that school over any school. I don't I don't care win, lose, or draw. Uh, it's the it's one of the best schools in the country, best fan bases in the country, best coaches in the country. That doesn't matter. Whatever any sport, best teachers. Um, great education and um, just uh, a great five years. You know, it's, it's kind of hard to look back on it now as in, in a positive light because we just lost. But for the most part, you know, I'm going to try to look at it in a positive way. And I, I'm always speak highly of Marshall and I'm always um, love Marshall. So. <laughs> Um, Mason Harold, uh, heart of a lion. That's what I would say. You know, to be small like that and to to be able to take control of his team. You can see they they rally behind him. They, that's their captain. You know, he doesn't quit. Uh, I think last time we played them at, at their house, I remember he he got out the game and I didn't know where he was at, and I, I felt like as if we, that changed the game. For them, you know, it, it, he could have helped them. Um, we were on the road. We were playing good. We were moving the ball. So um, I don't take anything away from us at all. But as far as him, he's a he's a he's a warrior. You know, I tried to help him up 
And it wasn't nothing personal. It was just that the heat of the moment. He wanted his team to come and help him up. I like players like that. I like that competitive nature. And um, he's very competitive. That's going to take him a long way. Um, as far as the, the scoring record, I never set out to break it. You know, it was never something that was in my mind every single day. I was just going into the gym every single day just trying to get better, just trying to perfect me, my craft, and the, the game that I love and putting everything that I have into it. And I guess, you know, that's what you get out. What you put in is what you get out. And um, I sat there. I was on the court. I'm in the picture when John made the shot you know, to, to break the record. And now, you know, everybody says records are meant to be broken. Um, This probably isn't the way I wanted it to be broken, but, you know, it's something, to, it's, it's it's a high point to leave out on. And um, I'll maybe later on, you know, I'll think about it, Um, try to celebrate it, but I'm a, at the end of the day, I, I, I want to be a winner, you know? So it kind of hurts that I lost and we lost as a union. And I, I broke the record, but at the same time, pretty proud and I got to give all praise to God because I wouldn't be anything without him, you know, each and every day, um, him allowing me to wake up, him allowing me to go into the gym and shoot the shots that I shoot and perfect my game, him keeping me healthy so that I can go this far in my career, all the doors he's opened up for me. Um, I, I couldn't be more thankful. One in the back here. Jay, at the very end when uh, Amy missed that last shot, you went over to him, what was that conversation? I love him. Uh, me and Andrew, we've been roommates uh, on the road, off the road. Uh, I remember when Andrew came in and he was coming into like red shirt. We were already playing during the season. And um, Coach Jackson was like, hey, go over there and talk to him. We're trying to get him to come to this school. And um, I don't know if it was like between Western Kentucky because he's from that area and us. And I think we played Western that night at home and we ended up beating him, you know. And I think that was the time where he was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to come here. So ever since then, it's just been like a one-two punch, you know. He's pushed me, you know, to he's kind of – and I, I never told him, but, you know, just seeing him in the gym, it, it built my competitive fire, you know. Sometimes you got to have a friendly competitive nature with each other and seeing him put in work, it's like, oh, he's not going to outwork me. And, you know, he's the same way. Like, oh, he's not going to outwork me. And um, we built that off of each other and we kept our relationship, a, a positive relationship. And after the game – um, I wouldn't want anybody else to shoot that shot other than Cam or some. He's he shot that shot a million times. You know, I, I believed in that. And um, when it went up in the air, I thought it was coming back down into the net. You know, and I, you can only just dream of that. So I walked over to him and I seen he had his hands in his head. And as a brother, all you can do is just uplift your other brother. You know, all you can do is just keep his head high. And that's why I told him, you know, like I love you. Just keep your head high. Um, if this is it. You know, we had it was a, it was a it was a great run. So our our relationship is going to be forever. Justin, first team was Sunday. You had great individual awards. Two first teamers, player of the year sitting next to you. Freshman year, Micah, you're the one game out of being the top seed. This team that beat you tonight, they were the top seed. And they, uh, last year, and they got upset. They got an offset of front line position. What's it mean going to the next year with Sunday? Well, <clears throat> we made a big, uh, you know. After a disastrous pre year before, which uh, Tavion, I know he was upset. We were all upset. We didn't think that was uh, indicative of Marshall basketball. We had a lot of things outside the season uh, last year, not this year, but the last year. New new administration, new uh, ads, uh, COVID. There was a lot of things that went on that year, and so this year that take a team that was dead last to the last game and have a chance to be dead first. And the two conferences, and I know they rank them and all that, but I, I promise you this conference was just as strong as the one we came. Uh, a little more physical, uh, maybe not as, uh, as finessed as uh, the other. Uh, there's a little uh, – they have more pattern play or uh, – if you play Middle Tennessee or Charlotte, they got a little pattern play. This is more our style. Uh, good athletes who uh, play hard, very aggressive, and a little bit more physical than uh, than Conference USO. So <clears throat> I don't think we stepped down to get this record. We were, you know, anything stepping back up a little bit to uh, get this record. We played a nice, we didn't go into a power five school, but we did play 
some top teams and conferences, other mid majors, and uh, and to flip a season where you're dead last, the uh, last game have a chance to win it. You know that speaks highly of these young men who uh, played for us in the season that they had. So uh, you know I, I don't you know other than that I you know I just, I like I like watching these young guys perform and. Uh, They've made me a good coach this year after I was a bad coach the year before. So they made me a very good coach this year for this season, and I thank them for it. And that's what I told them in the locker room. Thank you for uh, what you've done. You've, you've done everything you could. You've had a successful season. Keep your head up. And, uh, good things will come around for these guys. They're good guys, and they'll find their way in life and do well.